Hello, hello. I think it's the time to go to Hagong. The weather is getting better. Our plan is to go to Marina Vrek, which is here in uh, uh, Ahmed Melasti. We haven't been there for a really long time. It was like previous time I was there was November when I did some technical sign mount course. And since then, never been there. It's a kind of good reason to bring the Dime Monster candidates there, just to show them. And uh, just a little bit swim around and play around. Uh, we are busy with swimming skills again, skills, swimming, uh, students and so and so. So busy days, which is great. I, I already forgot how it is uh, when Dime Master candidates do the things for you, when you don't have to explain how to assemble, dissemble equipment or you don't have to really uh, demonstrate the skills in the water. They just do everything for you. That's great. last night some Spanish dances groupers as always and also I will include a little bit of Laura's um, underwater night dive footage which makes it more interesting than videos from my GoPro
As a moment, boy is doing Daimaster course. And you know, it's really important for me to explain them what it actually means. That to being a Daimaster or instructor is more like a lifestyle than a real profession. It is a real profession, it's really tough. But actually, the thing is that when someone becomes a Dai Master or instructor, they have this three year period when they understand is it really for them or not. And that's what I see constantly, these lost people. I've been talking about uh, that in my previous episodes from the 2020 and 21. There is always this challenge between the material things and the way you would like to live. And it's not only in our profession, it's in any profession. If you want to be a Dime Master instructor, you really have to love this thing. And this love to the diving is a way stronger than, for example, all this love for the material things. I mean, cars, houses and other things. This profession puts you in a really uncomfortable situation. When you're looking at other people who has new equipment and you're always struggling with these things, the only passionate people can stay in this business and be successful. And that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Follow, subscribe like the video and see you on the next one. Bye.